Hey there, awesome adventurers! So, my epic summer saga continues and Sweden just keeps on surprising me. Today we are diving headfirst into Stockholm archipelago, setting sail for the remote island of Sunham, out in the wide open Baltic Sea. But hold on tight, cause before we dive into all that historical godness, I'm spilling the beans on how to get there from Stockholm. Alright, here is a lowdown on getting to Sun Han. It is an 80 minute adventure and we've got all the deeds. Step 1. Make your way to the Slusen metro station and find the bus station. No worries, it is annexed to the metro. Step 2. Hop on either bus 434 or 433. This scenic bus ride takes about 50 minutes, but trust me, the views will keep you unturned. Step 3. Pay your fare with an SL tickets or a regular bank card right at the machine next to the driver. Step 4. You'll arrived at the ferry stop, easy peasy to find. Check the screen for departure info. Keep in mind, the schedule isn't a non-stop party, so plan your times in advance. Now here are your ferry options. Options 1. Vax Holmes Belogen, a leisurely hour-long cruise through the gorgeous archipelago. Option 2. Stuff's Nas Bot Taxi or San Hams Expressen, the speed demons taking just 30 minutes to zip from Stuff's Nas to San Ham. You can even book your own taxi boat if you're feeling fancy. Option 3. A must start none by Ross Logins Hot Traffic or B, another 30 minutes direct row from Stuff's Nas to San Ham. We went with option 3, cause it suited us just right. Tickets cost 100 sec per person, paid on board at the bar counter. Pro tip. Have one person handle the tickets while the other scouts out the best spot on the ship, preferably with a jacket to shield from those gusty winds. You're in for an unforgettable journey with mind-blowing views. This boat trip is gonna be a highlight, I promise. Let's soak up the beauty together. This place is no secret, it's been a hot spot for a pleasure boating since the late 1800s and for good reason. Although it has got just around 100 year-round residents, during the summer the population explodes to 2000 to 3000 folks, with an extra 100,000 visitors join the party each year. You will find all sorts here, from entrepreneurs to regular 905ers. Let's dive into the fascinating history of this gem, San Ham. Situated in the heart of Stockholm archipelago, about 50 km east of Stockholm, San Ham is your passport to paradise. It is officially on San Don, but everyone just call it San Ham. The administrative staff, well, it is in Varmdo, municipality, Stockholm country. And don't be fooled by the size. The harbor can host a whooping 350 ships and there is a room for 150 boats on the neighboring island like Holmen. Getting here is a breeze, thanks to ferries from Stavsnas and Stockholm, run by Vaxholms Bolaken and Cinderella Botana. Cinderella Botana even throws in some tourist cruises that stop here. Now brace yourself for the highlight of the year, the Round Gotland Race, a legendary sailing race that kicks off in July. It draws around 300 sailboards and hordes of spectacles to Sun Ham, and it is a spectacle you won't want to miss. Yeah. 
Sundance, history goes way back. It gets its first shout out in the 1280s, when King Magnus Barnlock handed it over to the Abbey of St. Clair in Stockholm. Fast forward to the late 19th century, and we've got 300 people calling St. Ham home making it one of the biggest spots in the archipelago. In 1865, a steamship rope from Stockholm to Sandham was burned, and suddenly this place became the go-to summer hangout for the rich and famous. Cottages were popping up left and right to accommodate this influx of summer guests. The Royal Swedish Yacht Club hopped on the scene in the 1890s, organizing regattas, and St. Ham was a perfect spot thanks it is proximity to Stockholm and navigable waters. They even built a swanky clubhouse in 1897, and ever since St. Ham has been sailing heaven. On top of that, Sandon and its neighboring islands, like Holmen and Korsche, are like a historical paradise mixed with pilot instructor from way back when, and post-World War II summer cottages. Oh, and let's not forget the Korsche lighthouse, designed by the architect Karl Horlman, with its swanky moving light beam, way ahead of its time when it was lit up in 1757. So you're not just in for a beautiful view. You're diving into a piece of Swedish history. Get ready for an unforgettable adventure in Sunham. Our day on the island was like a sneak peek into paradise, and trust me, we didn't want to leave. The people beach, the tranquility, it all had us daydreaming about coming back for a longer stay next year. stock digs. You've got options from 1000 to 2500 sec per night, depending on how fancy you want to get. I've got my signs on the Sunham Sigler Hotel. It is cozy and charming. A room with a terrace? Yes, please. But here is a cool part. You can also find these adorable small houses for rent. I mean, it feels like you're in a different world here, away from the city cows. Time just kind of chill out for a bit. And it is the most amazing feeling. The island views, poor magic, there is some kind of powerful energy in the air that's hard to put into words. We explored the island and stumbled upon a bunch of beaches. One of them is all set up for maximum comfort. But I'll spill the beans, the water's a tad chilly, and the wind, yeah, it's got some oof. So we chickened out on the swim this time, but we will better prepare it next round.
Head and back we got treated to more of those toe dropping views. Sandhem for me was like a crash course in Swedish vibes. It showed me a side of Sweden I never knew exist. To wrap it up, Sandham is kind of play that pulls you back. It's where you can flip the switch and let go of the daily grind. The city's rhythm fades into the background and you're just in the moment. This place led me with a feeling I can quite put into words. It's bright, it's pure, it's like a piece of my heart stayed behind. Thanks Sandham for the vibes and the harmony. We'll be back for sure. What a day, folks! I hope you find this video and all the dits I dropped super helpful. But don't you worry, the adventure train isn't stopping here. Next up, we are diving headfirst into the housing scene in Stockholm. You will get an exclusive room tour of my place, plus a truckload of useful tips. You don't want to miss it, so make sure you subscribe to the channel. XOXO, catch you on the flip side!